What's up guys, Simply Coco here and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another speed build here on the channel. Um, as you can probably tell from the title, I am building this family home in the world of Newcrest and I'm using the platforms uh, for the first time in this build. So you kind of got a glimpse of this build in yesterday's video because um, I kind of showed you like how I was using the um, platforms. But um, here's the speed build for that build if you were waiting on it. <laughs> um, I do want to go ahead and apologize for how sped up this build or this speed build is. Um, the exterior I believe is sped up 850 times normal and then the interior is 600 just because I had three hours worth of footage. And y'all, that's a lot because as of lately, I haven't been, it hasn't been taking me over an hour and a half to finish most builds lately, even like builds of this size. So I don't know what it was about this one that made it take so long. I think I just kept getting distracted because I had 20 different clips <laughs> and normally I average about I average about 12 to 15 clips um, like you know clips of footage uh, for my speed builds but this one had 20 clips so I think I just kept getting distracted and doing other things while I was building this and I was also building from reference so I will pop that photo up now on screen and yeah I found this on Pinterest but it's actually from the architectural does uh, I forget what it's called architectural yeah architectural design dot the architectural designs dot com and it's a great great website I actually just pulled it up right now and I'm looking at a house that I like and would not mind building in the sims it's a farmhouse but yeah that's the website I got it off of it's a great website with a lot of different um, floor plans and stuff and that's what I like about it it shows you you know, not just the exterior, but it gives you the whole floor plan. And then if it's if it's an actual house, like in real life, sometimes it'll even show you the um, interior of the house. Um, and I did copy a lot of the interior that I found um, on the with, with this house. Um, but I can't pop those photos. I mean, I could pop those photos up, but it would be a lot of photos. So. Um, if you want, just go look for it on that website. I think it was called like Marvelous House or something like that. But um, yeah, now we're doing the landscaping. I had a lot, a lot of trouble with the landscaping. So you will see me start it, which I'm doing now, but then it will cut and go straight to the landscaping being done. So sorry if you like to see landscaping because you won't get to see me do it all the way through um, here. Cause as you just see it it has changed and now the landscaping is done other than the few little like vine things that I'm putting around and some like weeds just to make it look like some like weeds are coming through coming through those rocks because if you look at the reference photo there were like these instead of dirt in the flower bed there was you know those rocks but now we're on the interior and this is how I'm using the platform so like I said in yesterday's video the best way to put platforms in is even if you're gonna have an open floor plan, draw your room first. Like whatever room you want to be in a on a platform or whether the platform is low or the platform is high, even if you're doing an open floor plan, draw the room first and then click on the room and then using those arrows, make it go up or down and then just get rid of the walls. Um, that's the easiest way to do it because if you try and put platforms down when you already have um, your walls built, it will knock down your walls and get rid of all your wallpapers and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, <laughs> and that can be very annoying. And you can kind of ignore what I'm doing right here because, oh, this is how it, the final like layout of it, you could go back to yesterday's video and get a better look at it if this is too fast for you. But so that middle section is where the living room is gonna be, where I'm putting these stairs now. And then 
you can obviously tell where the front door is that's just the entrance and then it goes down and then where it goes down um this level right here that that you're mostly seeing i'm gonna end up putting the kitchen there and that's the actual ground level so that's the level that's level with the ground outside um so that entrance way is raised and the living room is lowered um, so we love that and then i'm adding this like blue paneling on the inside because again i was copying the interior photos for this house as well and they had that blue color and i absolutely loved it i loved the entire color scheme of this house it was dark brown hence the dark brown uh wood flooring um dark brown uh white black gray and the navy blue and i just loved 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 how it looked um when i get to the living room you'll see that i tried to make this work as um as much as possible but in the reference photos they had brown like this deep brown um leather leather sectional couch and it was so pretty we don't have really anything in the any couches in the sims that resemble leather the closest one is the base game industrial looking couch but we'll see that in a second this is the kitchen obviously again i was copying the reference photo so that's why the cabinets that you would cook on or the counters you would cook on are different from the bar counters because the bar counters in the in the reference photo actually matched that uh, blue paneling wall in the back and i just really really enjoyed that though i'm using the counters from parenthood and those um that blue is where the closest i could find to matching that same color um even that paneling isn't the right color compared to the reference photo i really wanted a navy blue but you know we really don't have navy blue in the sims at all like these two colors are probably the closest but um and i mean to you that might be navy blue but to me navy blue is like even darker than that but that's just me and then this is the dining room area but you can see that obviously i'm trying to learn how to talk about other things during my speed builds because I hate just saying like, now I'm doing this, now I'm doing this. And then you can see me putting this. And here I am putting this <laughs> because like, you can obviously see me doing that because you're watching the speed build. But um, so yeah, all I can say right this, all I can think to say at this moment is make sure to join my discord server. That link is down in the description and follow me on Twitch. I have not streamed at all this week. I'm in the process of moving apartments um i have friends coming over for thanksgiving um i'm and then i'm trying to pre-record a bunch because um i don't like to record when my boyfriend's home and his schedule changed for the month of november and i'm also preparing all of my snowy escape content so yeah i'm just been too busy to stream but i will be streaming next wednesday and thursday at 7 p.m central standard time over on twitch and that is twitch.tv forward slash simply coco the last time i checked i had 46 um followers over there so only a few more and i'm officially a twitch affiliate so please come over there and give me a follow that would be greatly appreciated um but yeah, as you can see, we have moved on to the living room area. And these are the couches that I was talking about that mostly resemble leather in the game. And maybe they are supposed to be leather um, or like the Sims version of leather. I'm not sure. I've never read the description of these couches, but they're the ones, they're the base game. And they're um, supposed to be like industrial. Um, yeah. <laughs> um as usual i used a butt ton of packs though um one of these days i will do a limited pack build as as a matter of fact whenever snowy escape comes out um what i tend to do and i didn't even realize this until i started planning my content for snowy escape is whenever a new pack comes out i always build a tiny home with it and i always make it um whatever the new pack is so in this case it would be snowy escape plus tiny living and then obviously base game so that's going to be coming so it'll be a it'll be a tiny living plus snowy escape 
tiny home and that's going to be fun i'm really excited i think i'm going to make it a skiers home um inspired by miss griffey she did a snow she did a snowboarders tiny home and i was like i want to do that but instead of making it a a, a snowboarder i'm going to make mine a skier i'm also planning on building like a, a um someone like a winter olympics champion i want to build his his or her home so it won't be like a huge mansion but it'll be a really nice home um so i'm excited about that um really excited about my let's play that i'm going to be doing with snowy escape that the introduction video so not not necessarily part one but the introduction video for that let's play will be coming out on monday um so if you don't know for my let's plays before i actually start the let's plays i always do an introductory part and i basically just go into cast and i introduce all the characters and i give you the rundown of what the let's play is going to be about um so that's going to be coming out on monday and it'll be pretty late on monday because i work um i work monday night and i get off at 6 30 and it takes me 45 ish 35 to 45 minutes to get home and then i have to get home and clean up whatever mess the dogs made and um take them outside and feed them and then get my life together <laughs> before i can sit down and start recording um so the introductory part will come out later on monday but i'm really 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 excited for that let's play um I feel like I was gonna say something, but I forgot. Um, yeah, I don't remember what I was gonna say. I was talking about the Let's Play. I was talking about what kind of Snowy Escape content I'm gonna be doing. Oh, yeah, so, um, like I just said, I don't like to record when my boyfriend's home because it's weird, it's awkward to me. And so, I get the pack I don't have early access, by the way, um, so I'll I won't get the pack until Friday because I have to buy it when everybody else can buy it. So and then he's off of work Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Well, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So I won't be able to record any content with the pack until Monday. I'm gonna try to get a speed build out Saturday. Um, using the pack for that build I'm thinking about building a pop-up uh, restaurant but that's all I'm gonna say about it it's gonna be really really cute um, and I'm just gonna try and wake up early and do it while he's asleep but he works a 12-hour night shift so he'll probably he'll definitely be asleep but um, just to warn you my my voice will probably sound a little bit like this in that voiceover because I'll have to whisper just a little bit um, because my computer setup is right in our bedroom. Like I could reach, oh, ooh, excuse me. I burped. <laughs> I could read, I'm reaching over and hitting the bed right now. If you can hear that. So like, yeah, he'd be right there asleep. But the good news is, is we are upgrading to a loft apartment at our complex. So we're staying at the same complex, but, uh, upgrading to a loft. And so we're going to have a Right now we live in a studio, so we don't even have like a door to close in our bedroom. So our bedroom, we'll have a door, double doors actually, and then we'll have our living room space. And then upstairs, since it's a loft, the upstairs is like completely open. So I'm gonna make that my office. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm buying, like I've been buying like a lot of stuff to decorate it and it's gonna be so cute and I cannot wait. But I'm finally gonna have an office space. So that means even when he's home, I can start recording and I'm not gonna necessarily have to worry about his schedule. I can just record whenever I want. I can stream whenever I want and all of that good stuff. So can't wait for that. <laughs> we get the keys on November 27th. So the day after Thanksgiving. Um, and we have from the 27th to December 1st to like be officially moved in there and out of this one. But um, yeah, so stay tuned for that. But that was just a workout slash game room. Um, barely even a game room because the only thing in there that's game wise is the um, juice pong table. And then I put like a bar table from university and just some workout equipment and then a small little kitchenette. So it has a sink and um, a mini fridge. And you just saw me for the very first time ever use custom made wall art. 
and it's so great i use them in this build and tomorrow speed build and they are so great so what you do is you go on the gallery and basically just search wall art or you could search paintings or you could search custom paintings or anything that you could search anything black paintings white paintings white wall art black wall art and it'll pull up custom made wall art that you can put in your build and it will not count as custom content and the way people do it if you're curious because you'll see more as we go um how people do it is so they'll put custom content in their game so let's say they want a picture of Ariana Grande to put on the gallery. So they put a custom content version. They put a custom content picture of Ariana Grande in their game. And then they have their sim go to an easel and they click um, paint by reference. And you know, if you play the Sims enough, you know, when you paint by reference, you have to take a picture of something and then your sim will paint whatever they took a picture whatever you took a picture of so you so they would click on that take a picture of that ariana grande custom content picture their sim would paint it they put that painting in a room then they upload that room to the gallery and then you could go to the gallery and up and get and download that room and then you could put that custom painting of ariana grande in one of your in one of your builds and it would not count as custom content because it was technically something that was done within the game so it wouldn't count as custom content and um i've known about that for a while but i was watching paul pancake stream and he was using some custom made um tiles and he made a backsplash out of it and i loved that and he was using custom um paintings like that and I was doing my legacy challenge on my stream and I downloaded a house um, for my second generation. I'm so glad to be on my second generation. And the house that I downloaded had custom paintings in it. And I was like, oh my goodness, how have I not been doing this already? Because the main thing, okay, I won't say the main thing. It's obviously not the main thing, but I am, what I am lacking in The Sims 4 is wall art. I hate all of the wall art. There's some of my, I like some of it and I, a lot of it I use in every single build, but that's the problem. I use it in every single build. We need more and definitely more that are just like plain white and black or tan or brown or light brown, whatever. Um, excuse me, had a little burpee again. <laughs> but if you just noticed when I was trying to place those beds, so I completely talk through the master bedroom. I'm sorry. <laughs> You'll see me pop back in there for a second to play some clutter. But um, when, when I was trying to place those beds up close to the wall, they started to glitch out and raise up a little bit. And that happens a lot in this build. So I have discovered, I have discovered yet another glitch with the platforms, uh, with the platforms that they added to the game. On the other side of this wall that I just put these custom paintings on, there's the living room. And you know, the, the living room flooring, the living room is lowered like two or three times. So anything that I try to alt place over here is gonna sink. Prime example, as I'm, if I'm, tr as I'm trying to alt place something, it sinks down to the level of what the living room is at. And that happens a few other times throughout this build, not just in this room. So that's a glitch with the platform system for sure that needs to be fixed because that is going to drive me absolutely insane. And then this is the room right off the um, entrance way. It's actually an office. I didn't realize that the entrance way was raised two levels. I mean, I did, but I had forgotten by the time I got to this room. So I had to put another platform there um, in order for them to get down into this room but i just make this an office i actually really like it to be honest it's very simple like i literally just put this two books two um bookcases behind it and then like a chair in the corner and a rug but <laughs> once i put the rug in the rug is a navy blue color and that just kind of really tied it in together for me with the rest of the house and i just really really liked it um so yeah it's a simple room Yet again, 
Sadly, I don't have a storyline for this family. I don't know what's been going on with me lately, but when I've been building, I have not had inspiration for... I have not had inspiration for storylines like it like at all and i don't really know why and like i said in one of my speed builds a while ago how i usually come up with my storylines is as i'm building i'll pull out an object that like makes me think like oh the dad could be this or oh the mom could be this um and now that i say that like i put down those fi those case files on the desk and i thought that maybe the dad could be a lawyer but that was it. That's all. That's the only thing I thought of is that the dad could be a lawyer. <laughs> and I have no idea with what, what anyone else does. I don't know what the mom does. Um, I, they have two girls um, because of their room. It's a girl's room. I don't know if they're twins or if they were just born close to each other. But they share a room. So <laughs> other than the dad being a lawyer, I have no idea what this family storyline is so i just really hope you enjoy this build um i don't have a storyline for tomorrow's speed build uh either so if i can think of one between now and the time i do that voiceover which is going to be after this one then uh maybe i'll give them a storyline but um you just saw to the left of the living room uh, the backyard the sliding door to the backyard there were no stairs there and if you watched yesterday's video it's because for some reason, which is another glitch with the platforms, if you have platforms down, and then especially ones that go, you know, sink further down into the ground, and you have a and you have stairs on them, and then you go and manipulate a wall, well, then it glitches out the stairs, and they don't connect to the platform anymore. They kind of raise above the platform, like they raise up to the floor level, the the, the ground floor level, and it's. And it really started to make me mad. So I just deleted the um, staircase there altogether. And then once I'm completely, when I, when I finished the build, when I completely finished the build, I went back and placed them. So just know if you download this house and you manipulate any walls or, or build any more walls, it's going to mess up one of the staircases. So just go and check that out if you do uh, download this build. Speaking of downloading this build, you'll be able to get it off the gallery soon. It will not be on the gallery as you're watching this. I'm pretty sure it won't because as I've also said in the past few of my videos, um, I'm using the better build in buy mod and you have to turn that off in order to upload stuff to the gallery or it's gonna count it as having custom content. And in order to turn it off, you have to turn it off and then restart your game. And I just don't be feeling like doing that. <laughs> Um, so what I've been doing lately is just doing like five or six builds and then turning better build and buy uh, mod off and then just uploading all of those builds in one huge bulk, um, which I kind of also don't like doing it like that either because I always like to include some sort of description with my builds. Um, but these probably won't because I don't have storylines with them, <laughs> but, um, you're probably not wondering, but this house will not be in my save file because I'm not building in that save file right now. If I can find a lot that I can put this on in my save file, I might put it in there because the lot that I'm building it on right now is already already has a house on it in my save file. But if I can find another lot for it, then maybe I'll put it in there. Um, but we'll see. Now I'm just like putting in the final touches. I've cluttered up the kitchen. I've cluttered up the bedrooms, um, put in a thermostat and the fire alarm. And now I'm doing the backyard, which is the last thing you'll see me do. And I actually really like the backyard. Um, it's very, really simple, not a whole lot going on out here, but I do really like it. I do give them a hot tub. I move this right there, <laughs> move these couches over. Then I put the hot tub in this little nook over here. Um, Things are going to be cutting it, cutting into those windows, but yeah, I move them up. <laughs> um, see, this is why I don't like just saying I'm doing this and I'm doing this and I'm doing this because you're literally watching it happen. But um, yeah. <laughs> and then over here, this was just a covered pat, like a little covered area. The only reason that's there is because the gabled roof, roof that's th uh, there um, didn't match up with the hipped roof 
correctly so i just pulled the the gable roof all the way back and then it created this covered area so i just put this picnic table here and then some plants around and then that wall decoration and called it a day a um, few planters over there not much trash cans back there um, one thing that i need to start working on just in general is putting in skill building items in my game in my builds because i don't really do that a whole lot but i'll get better at that but anyway guys i'm just putting in the final touches nothing crazy i'm about to put in a mailbox and the screenshots will be rolling soon so i hope you enjoyed this build don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll always respond to your comments and please hit that notification bell so you know exactly when i post my next video exactly when i post it and i will see you all then thank you guys so much for watching and enjoy the screenshots bye everybody